It's great in J2E being able to type up your work and learn some computing skills. But sometimes, and most of the time, you'll have to handwrite your work. It might be some artwork, it could be your English, or it could be your entire home learning pack. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can take pictures of your handwritten work and upload it to J2E for your teacher to see and give you some feedback. It'll only take you a few minutes to do and you could do it every day or you could just do it once a week to show your teacher all the hard work that you've been doing. So let's start with the first way on a laptop. So I've just logged into J2E and I'm going to click the camera tile, which is here. And just like magic, here I am. And I'm going to share with my teacher my fabulous work. Yeah, okay, fine, maybe it's not that fabulous, but I wanna share it with my teacher. So here I am on my laptop. I can hold my work in front of the camera and there is this capture button here to take a picture. So I'm gonna put my work, hide my face, and I'm gonna take a picture just like that. Then all I have to do is press the cloud, which saves my picture. And just like that, I've uploaded a picture of my work. And then if I go into my files, there it is. Easy. The second method is with a phone. So a parent or carer at home can do this, or you must ask their permission if you want to use it to take a picture and upload to J2E. So on the phone browser, go to j3.com and log in. And just like we did with the laptop, we're gonna press the camera tile. Then along the top, you press the little camera icon and it'll ask you for permission to use the camera, press okay. Here is my fabulous work again. I'm gonna take a picture, use the picture along the top, I can press the cloud button again to save it. And just like on the laptop, if we go into my files, there is my picture of my work. And don't worry if it's the wrong way around, as long as we can read it. And the third and last method is also uploading pictures from a phone. But this way is a bit different. Rather than taking the pictures through J2E, you could take lots of pictures throughout the week of your work and then upload them onto J2E. So first of all, go and log in on the device that you want to upload from. And at the bottom, you want to press upload. Then where that green tick is, press choose files. And then you're going to select photo library. And that'll bring up all the photos on the phone or iPad or the device with the camera. And here you can select more than one photo. You can select as many as you like and then press done. And it will begin to upload those pictures. Now, once they're uploaded, you don't need to press anything at all. They'll already be saved in your files and your teacher will be able to see them. So once they're uploaded, you can check as usual, go into my files and there are my two pictures. And again, don't worry if they've changed direction at all. As long as we can see them, that is great. And there are our three methods of uploading pictures to J2E all sorted. So now any work that you do on paper, handwritten, or any projects you do at home or artwork, you can take pictures of, ask a parent or carer's permission to use an iPad, to use a phone or anything with a camera, and upload it straight to J2E for your teacher to mark and give you feedback. I hope this has been helpful and make sure whenever you're online, especially using J2E, to stay smart. So I hope you found this video helpful and we're really looking forward to seeing all your hard work at home.